the RS Vito from Moza is the new updated version of the round wheels and compatible with the smaller R5 direct drive wheel base of their line. Three hundred and thirty millimeter round wheel dressed in leather with anatomic touch on the back, forged carbon wheel cover and carbon faceplate of the aluminium case. The usual dual pedal system with aluminium body for the magnetic shifters and the clutch with carbon plates. Quick release with the new cross pin connection, which makes it compatible with the R5. Then backlit buttons replace the old ones with controllable colors and brightness. Those give much more clean look of that model. The horn button is gone and replaced with that carbon cover and the new price of the RS2 is $469, which makes it $30 cheaper. New shape of the two rotary encoders, two joysticks, and rev lights. The build quality of the case and the shifters is just like on the FSR and I would say is top particularly for the asking price. The buttons are the same as the GS and FSR but the rotary encoders are pushable as well and in rotary feel great with nice positive click but those knobs are plastic instead of aluminum of the GS and the FSR model. I personally love aluminum knobs but Two extra inputs, I guess, are fair trade and it makes no difference in feeling anyway. For those who never had experience with the GS or the FSR, the buttons have that deep movement and the rotor is really positive stiff click through each input. The joysticks can be used as five inputs for to each side and push, but I personally think seven-way funky switch is much better choice for sim racing. Trying to fix my pit strategy while driving under pressure, I personally prefer something with much more positive click and with those here is impossible for me. And dealing with multiple buttons under pressure is far from ideal. Moza, please give us at least one 7 way funky switch. It is one of the favorite controllers for most of us. The steering wheel will be one choice for this model with leather grip which is the most requested choice from the community and only round shape. Stitching looks good but one thing I really hate about stitching is in this area right here. Without gloves is really rough to my skin and destroy my gloves when I wear them. That's the place where all the forces are applied and that space must be as smooth as possible for comfort and longevity. Stitches like those destroy many of my gloves and the stitching itself wear with the time and the string will become just useless. Most of the high-end wheels keep that area as smooth as possible. Ergonomics. <laughs> that is big wheel with 330mm diameter size is a little bit on the heavy side. It is 2 kg and 168 grams in comparison to the GS which is 1 kg 616 and 1 kg and 526 for the FSR. The shape, the weight and the diameter gives totally different feeling on the R5 and R9 but that is not necessarily a bad thing. Those wheels anyway have completely different purpose. The size, the weight, the overall weight distribution will soften the force feedback feeling and will make it smoother, but the inputs will be a bit slower for open wheel cars and uh, top GT classes, but for road cars, rallying and drifting will be much better. I've tested this with the R9, and the R5 and both of those did just fine in terms of strength and they felt powerful just like on the GS and the FSR wheels. Just this one makes the overall force feedback feeling a little bit smoother. Usually operating buttons on round wheels is not easy task of any of my wheels around and this makes no exception. <laughs> 
I have medium sized hands and I have only access to two buttons if I keep firmly the steering wheel. Maybe if it's 320mm diameter I will be able to reach 12 more inputs instantly from the same hands position which can make huge difference and as I prefer maximum of 320 diameter wheels for sim racing one little change can make huge difference for me. Of course if you have bigger hands that will may create zero problems for you and if you have smaller hands even 320 mm may have zero impact so that's subjective matter. The door clutch and the shifters are not adjustable but this time they add 8 mm spacers and now it's possible to bring them closer or far from the grip position. The rev lights are controllable from the pit house and we can choose different colors layout and pushing the two rotaries at once for a few seconds we can activate that mode here and choose different colors too. In my opinion those little changes gives much more serious look in comparison to the old version and being $30 cheaper is nice addition to the quality from material point of view is great for the asking price particularly having the clutch system as standard equipment and some of my personal wishes are seven way rotary encoders instead of those joysticks as those funky switches are must in every sim racing wheel and also 320 mm size instead of 330 which can help buttons control for medium sized hands like mine. Moza is proven to listen to the community, so if you agree or disagree with my arguments, make sure to let comment and help the evolution of our experience. Remember, companies depend on us, the customers, it's not the other way around. If they do great things, we buy, they win. If we are not happy, we don't buy and they get lost in the competition. So ask for more and I will see you on the next one.